Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I just thought I would film a really quick um, video on how I get motivated for the gym and um, fitness and health and all those things. So I've been asked a lot about how I stay motivated or get motivated to go to the gym. So I'm afraid to tell you it is as simple as you've just got to do it. So there are days where I, I mean I'm trying to work out um, five times a week at the moment. I'm trying to eat really well um, and the only thing really that motivates me is wanting to look better and uh, feeling good and just all of those things like that. So you go across Instagram and you look through all your feeds and whatever and you see all these girls you're like oh my god like that is just amazing. She looks amazing. Why don't I look like that? How does she look like that? And the only, it's hard work, it's motivation, it's dedication, it doesn't happen in three weeks, it doesn't happen in one month, it's not something that you can just go, boom, I look like that, trust me, I wish I could. Um, but yeah, the only thing I can really suggest is that you just do it. Um, I mean, there are days where I know I need to go to the gym, and the sofa's right there, and the TV's on, and the kettle's boiled, and I'm just like, should I just have a cup of tea? just sit by the sofa, put my dressing gown on, get all snuggly. No. I wish, but no. You can do that on your rest days, but unfortunately that ain't gonna get you no summer body. Um, and they always say summer bodies are made in the winter because it does take a long period of time. Um, so I'm still working on my body and myself and I always want to keep trying to look better. Five tips on what I think would be really good for somebody that isn't that motivated or cannot do it is set yourself uh, workout days. So if you work a nine to five job or a job where you know your shifts, you know your rota, um, then try and find yourself three days at least that you can do um, a workout. For people in hospitality or that work long days, um, it is very, very difficult. Um, I know a lot of people that have done it, I've done it myself, where you work five days in a week, but all of those days you work a 12 hour shift or more. Um, it's very hard to think, right, I'm working at 10, I'm gonna finish at 11, so in the morning I'll go to the gym. Because you wanna sleep. You're gonna be so tired and so knackered that you just wanna sleep. So what I would recommend for that, the only thing really that you can do if you don't have time for the gym, is you have to eat well. If you are eating all the right foods, then you're halfway there. Um, also, for um, people that don't like the gym, hate the gym, don't want to go and spend two hours in the gym, there's so many workouts you can do which are at home, 20 minutes, and that's all you need. Um, I like the body coach, so the HIIT training on his YouTube channel, I will link it below, um, but that is something that many of you already know that I do, is I do it at home, in the living room, in a small room, you don't need bags of space, um, all you need is yourself and a mini mat, if you need a mini mat or if you've got a really nice soft carpet you'll be fine. Um, second tip um, is to know what, what you're working for or what your goals are. So if you just want to lose weight then I would recommend cardio but if you want to tone up and build muscle um, and get lean then I would recommend doing weight training as well. Um, so that's what I would personally recommend. Um, three is plan your eating so if you are not working out try not to eat carbs and loads of fatty foods and loads of um, horrible sugary foods I would try and recommend to stick to fruit, chicken, salads um, sounds boring I know but it's the way you've got to do it I'm afraid number four um, I would recommend getting a new gym kit um, so new trainers new sports bra um, new workout pants um, it's all it always makes me feel better and on it and motivated if I've got this new gym kit and I'm you know I feel good and I'm looking good I'm just like right let's go let's bash this one out um, so yeah I would highly recommend getting a new gym kit as well um, one thing that I struggle with is working out first thing in the morning. I I hate getting up early, so to think, people are like, get up at 6 a.m., go for a run, you're done by seven, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, uh-uh, no, honey. Because I don't go to bed until stupid clock, like two, three, four o'clock in the morning is the time I go to bed. So that for me is just, I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen, I can't do it. Um, but if you are a morning person, then I would highly, highly recommend getting up in the morning, doing your workout, having a run, 20 minute workout, whatever it is that you're gonna do, um, try it, if you can do it in the morning, do it in the morning, best time. But I can't, I have to do it in the middle of the day or in the evening. I go to the gym normally between eight and 10 at night. No, it sounds crazy. Most of you are probably in bed by then. Um, but for me, that is like my prime time. So 
there's that to think about as well. Um, as another thing is um, with diet, so I am very bad at, um, I'm a really fussy eater, so I don't like fish, I don't really like much meat, don't really like red meat, um, I don't eat steak. So I have a protein shake, I will link below the one that I have. I love it, it's a diet whey protein shake, so it's um, low in all your carbs and things like that. Um, and that's, I would recommend if you are already um, quite skinny and you want to get lean and you want to build muscle and that kind of thing, um, just to get that protein in your diet because I'm really bad with it. So I, every single morning I'll have a protein shake with berries and that sort of stuff in it. Um, and then in the evening as well, if I ha haven't got dinner or I don't want to cook dinner, I will also have a protein shake. I do recommend that you eat dinner properly, but um, for me, protein shakes are quick, easy, and it's it fits my lifestyle so that is a great thing as well. Um, another thing that I'm not that great at is making sure you get plenty of sleep. So everyone always says if you get plenty of sleep you'll feel good, you're rested, your body's got time to um, sort itself out but I most of the time go on six, seven hours sleep um, because I stay up so late. I don't recommend it. Um, I am going to try and go to bed earlier. I'm going to try my hardest. Um, but I really like, it sounds crazy, but I really like about 10 to 2 a.m. period where I can just watch my shows or, you know, do some work or plan my days and my photo shoots and whatever it is that I'm going to do. That is the time that I like to do it. Whereas most people would do it, say, I don't know, 8 till 12 in the morning. Um, so yeah, get a lot of sleep as well and also drink plenty of water. Um, everyone always has a go at me because my car, the passenger side, footwell of my car is always full of empty bottles of water and I never take them out or clean them out. I cleaned it out, um, oh, when did they tell me to um, So actually I did empty my car a couple of days ago and there was um, 19 bottles of water, all empty, um, and that's because in the, the quickest way for me is grab a bottle, drink it while I'm driving, boom, done, glass of water, boom, all done. Um, so that as well is to drink plenty of water um, throughout your day as well, that's great. Um, you've got to cut out your sugary drinks, so like your, pe your Coke, your Dr Pepper, your Fanta, whatever it is that you drink, try and drink less of it, um, and try and stay away from all your oily foods like your crisps and crap like that. Um, every, it's okay to have a cheat day every now and again, like once a week I'll have a day where I'm like okay I'll eat a little bit of something nice. Um, but honestly once you get into it it's really it's really easy, like it's that motivation to get started and once you've got started it's honestly it's so much easier and you just do it, you just get on with it. The first time you go to do it it's like oh I'm dreading it, I don't want to do it. Um, but yeah just get into it and you'll love it. The minute you, so I'm always like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym, I can't be bothered. But the minute I get on that treadmill or start lifting weights, I'm like, yes, this is great, I love it. And then afterwards, I'm like, I've achieved it. I've achieved something here and I feel good and I, it just, it gives me that, like, I don't know, that glow and I love it. Another thing that I would recommend is taking pictures of yourself um, before and after and um, throughout your progress like every couple of weeks or something just so you can see a difference in yourself and um, so you can look back at it and be like whoa like yes I've done it the difference from here to here um, just so you can track your progress and it's you're not going to get results if you don't do anything so the last thing that I'm going to say is that there's so many people that say oh I want to look like that oh I want to do that oh how do you get motivated to do that I really want to look like that and they don't do anything about it, they still eat shit, they don't work out, they don't do anything, so you have to want it, you have to want to look good, you have to want to lose weight, or you have to want to tone up, or you, you have to really want it, and that is motivation in itself enough. I mean, every every time I look in the mirror I'm like, right, it's not good enough, I want this, oh, I want to look leaner than that, oh, I want to, you know, lose this here, and I want to jiggle that about, or whatever. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, right, I can improve on that, right, I can get better at that. And this year I'm like, right, focus, that is like a focus of mine is to get the body that I want. So in the summer when I'm on holiday or I'm on the beach, I'm like, yeah, and I'm confident and I don't mind being in a bikini and I'm, you know, I'm quite happy. So that as well is you have to want it to have that motivation. If you, if you don't want it and you're quite happy and you're not that bothered, then you're not going to do it. You're not going to find that motivation to do it. If you really, really want it, you'll find that motivation and you'll just do it. And honestly, you just have to do it. You just have to get on with it and you just have to do it. 
Um, so that is it for this video. I'm sorry I've rambled on a little bit and it's kind of not really in order. So they are my top tips on things that I do and things that help me get motivated um, to get in the gym and to eat well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.